Uh, it's called A Dating Story Written by an Artificial Intelligence Algorithm that was fed other dating stories. It says, it's kind of a typical New York dating story, really. We end up back at her apartment, and she gets anxious about her roommate possibly being home. Her roommate wasn't. And then she says the place is messy because she didn't think she'd bring someone back with her because she doesn't usually do things like this anyways. <laughs> and I say all the things I'm supposed to say. Uh, your place is nice. I have a friend that lives near here. My place is so much dirtier than this. Those kind of things. While well, we do the typical awkward dance around the living room before we can get started. But I have to ask. So I point at the Sousa phone in the corner, and I say, what's up with that? And she turns and looks at the Sousa phone with all its love seat size fiberglass glory propped up between a, a paper floor lamp and a horrible painting of someone's dog. Her dog? I, I don't know. Oh, I'm embarrassed. It's my brother's tuba. He left it here when he disappeared, and I haven't figured out what to do with it. He fig I figured he'd come back and get the tuba, but it's been six years since we last. It's actually a sousaphone. I, I don't say this, although <laughs> my brain tries to get my mouth to interrupt. That's, that's the name of these big marching band instruments. They're special tubas with wider bells that John Philip Sousa had specially commissioned for his music. I mean, you aren't wrong, it's still a tuba, but it'd be like, I, I don't say any of this. I don't say any of this. I'm not so clueless. To not know that a lecture on the history of sousaphones isn't appropriate when a woman you've gone home with is talking about her missing brother. <laughs> and I, I also don't mention that I'm relieved to hear it's her brother's because she's too small to be a sousaphone player. I'm pretty sure she'd take that the wrong way. She is too small, though. She'd look ridiculous. It would be more than double her height. She, she would, if she went out in public with a sousaphone, She'd at best be a viral video thing named Small Woman Carries Giant Tuba. They would be the best case. Also, I didn't listen to what she was saying about her missing brother and she stopped talking. Uh, the sousaphone has an Oregon State University logo on it, which is particularly fierce looking beaver. I also don't mention this because I don't care about it that much. And I'm not sure if she mentioned something about Oregon State University, and it might get taken the wrong way. So really, it's time to stop with the sousaphone. But here I am, I'm picking it up, and I shouldn't be, and it's an impulsive kind of night, I guess. When am I going to get to play a sousaphone again? Do you mind if I play? Yeah, I don't care. My relationship with my neighbors, they hate me anyway. And I'm already playing it. Boom. 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 Yeah, you're pretty good. I've never had anyone boom, 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 boom. boom. Have you ever had experience playing boom, boom, no, nope. boom, 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 boom. We don't get to sleep for a while, and neither do our neighbors. A few days pass, and I can't stop thinking about her Sousa phone. <laughs> I don't hear anything from her. So I text, hey, how's it going? Hi. Hi, I had a good time the other night with you and, and your tuba. Actually, it's not exactly a tuba, it's a sousaphone. <laughs> but you played it very well. No one has ever played it like that before. Thanks. Uh, blushing emoji. What are you up to on Thursday? Oh, I thought about how to say this a lot, and it's hard. I had fun, but you were really sweet, but I'm not really looking for someone to play my missing brother's sousaphone right now. <laughs> I, I'm more looking for someone to refinish my coffee table. Coffee table? I didn't notice the coffee table at all. I mean playing her brother's tuba was, was okay and all, but I'm not looking to restore any furniture for anyone, especially after just one date. And I, although I, I am quite good at restoring furniture and, and I, I just don't do it that way. So I never responded, 
I guess I could have told her my thoughts on restoring furniture, but let's be real. The coffee table, the tuba, the dog painting, the plodding early 20th century March baseline, they were all meaningless and inaccurate metaphors for the unbridgeable distance between us. We just weren't going to work. We weren't a good match. So I texted out. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>